All right, Corso family. This is part two of the book that I was just reading. And um, what happened was Scandizi started breeding English masters at first into the to the dogs. And then other enthusiasts started breeding other massive type breeds into the dogs and ultimately like twisted up the dogs. And, you know, the Corso history is the Corso history as well. And I have basically showed and proved, watch these videos, of and I explained of what happened. Can't actually give you a lot of information like I would love to. Like, I got to get some books. And then I'll be able to, to get into it. This to show and prove of what I'm talking about. Because I like doing it like this. So this way you can see. And you can get the book yourself. And you can read for yourself. And this is how research is done, basically. on In a nutshell. So I don't want to be... Well, like I said, that I'm this type of dude that just freestyling so to speak and i'm just giving you information of my opinion and i'm not giving you facts i'm giving you facts so this way far as you know the truth for the matter because a lot of the a lot of this um fantasy islands type situation about the history aspect of things is not actually the truth just like with american history world history a lot of history is distorted it's not told in its full content and it's very important like on some on, on some other stuff like it's, it's important i feel it's very important i'm not italian of course you see i'm not italian but i do love the corso breed i do love the ancient molossular breed and i feel that it should be manifested and should be stressed and it should be taught correctly i believe that these dogs actually should be kept in a traditional form for real, for real. They, they shouldn't look like like this dog. They shouldn't look like that. They shouldn't look like that. The breed wasn't intended to look like that. And I mean, he's not horrifically bad, but he ain't good either, though. But hold on. Let me get a... Because I know they got a much worse individual in here. But you get the point. It ain't supposed to be no big sloppy jalopy animal. It was never it's never meant to be that way. It's never meant to have this much mass and bone, even though this one, he's not a horrifically bad dog either. But again, not the type of dog that I prefer. Prefer them to be a little bit you know, like a corso. Like a neo and a corso is one of the same. They're supposed to look the same. In a traditional form. In their traditional form, I should say. And again, with the research and studies and stuff like that, I mean, a lot of people should be intrigued to do so. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should be very intrigued to do so. You into the breed, you want a corso, learn about the corso history. Plain and simple. Learn how to breed a dog. And if you're into it on the aspect of dog breeding, then do that thing correctly. It's all I'm asking you to do, <laughs> for real. Like, you, like, you're grown, and I don't control you on the aspect of, like, yo, you better do it or else. Like, yo, you do what you do. But I'm just saying, for the sake of the breed, because it'd be a shame that these dogs, and which has happened, they're looking like something else that they're not supposed to look like. And traditionally, they're supposed to look like a farm utility dog. And again, that big, massive dog... Won't be able to do farm utility work, like, at all. And it's not supposed to look like that, traditionally. So, keep them traditional. Keep them in a proper form. That's a part of the Italian people's culture. The culture is very rich. I think a lot of people should start even doing... I mean, you know, I guess you guys don't take it to that extreme, but I kind of do. Because I like to study history and stuff like that. Real history, not the fake stuff that you learn in school and stuff like that. Real history. So, I do kind of do my own research... And even with the Italian people, with the culture and stuff like that. A lot of stuff happened in Italy and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, again, if people had the aspect of the true history of things on another aspect and another level of things, racism would basically be diminished. <laughs> if the truth was to be manifested. Basically, we kind of like all, all, all the... All are the same, and that we intermingled and intermixed and, and et cetera, plenty of stages in history, and it shouldn't be where, you know, you feel 
or I should feel that I'm better than thou because of skin color. So that's that. And like I said, that's just my spin on things. But regardless of the point though, like I said, I should have did this a long time ago. Yeah, I could have read some more, but it just basically got on the aspect of what happened after, after the fact and why the dogs differ and pedigrees and stuff like that were fake. Even in here in America, with the with the ICCF in the beginning process, they did a lot of forgery stuff. Um, what else? Sachs did a lot of forgery stuff because, like, you, you um in the nineties, that's when they was basically trying to get they act together, and a lot of pedigrees from that point on were false, like on some real stuff. Like they couldn't trace it back. History manifests that it is what it is. And the same thing with the Neapolitan masters going back, you know what I'm saying? Like on some real, on some real stuff. A lot of history, like read, research, and then you have an understanding of the situation and then you know how to breed better dogs and know what angles and basically keeping your dogs traditional. Like it is what it is. But like I said, I had to say that. So hopefully you enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? And I, again, I'm going to stress that. Get any book dealing with Neapolitan masters and other breeds. Learn, please. Um, get you an old school Neapolitan book, a history book. Learn, please. So this way you could get the, the aspect of the word semantics. So when you read Corso history, it's not far-fetched. You're like, okay. So now you know what a Corso is. Get different respects like a Mezzo Corso, Antiqua, Rustic, um, Mezzo. Because now they're calling the, the new wave dogs, Boxroids, Mezzo Corso, um, Molossoloids, calling them all types, of, <laughs> all types of names now. So you got to be kind of careful of what dogs you get. There's no shortcutting in dog breeding. Get you, like I said, there's no difference between an Italian Corso and and an American Corso. Matter of fact, there is no such thing as an American Corso. A Corso is an Italian breed. Period. Period. You have dogs that were bred here, but they originated from Italy. I'm going to say that again. You had dogs that were bred here, but all originated from Italy. Sicily is part of Italy. So, like, they originated from Italy. It is what it is. So, like, that's a misconception. Also... Cause like I said, there's a lot of forums and stuff like that. Well, what's the difference between an Italian, I mean, an Italian corso and an American corso? Oh, and everybody claims size. No, that's incorrect too. There are big corsos in Italy too. It depends on what bloodlines you get. I'm gonna say that again. There are big corsos in Italy. It depends on what bloodline you get. Also here in America, in the Satili bloodline. They vary in size. You got big ones and you got small ones. It is what it is. And in the, the book, it also says that's we Neapolitan masters. You got big ones. You got small ones. You got some that look traditional, and then you got some that's overly massive with the dew laps and all that crazy stuff. It is what it is. You have to be careful. So, like I said, I don't want you to take everything that I'm saying on face value. Very to comment upon you to research yourself. I prefer you to do that. Research yourself. I'm going to try to bring you to the water. But as, as the old saying goes, I can't make a camel or a horse drink. I could bring them to the water, can't make you drink. So it is what it is. Not calling you no camel or no horse, but you get the metaphor. But all right. But like I said, this is Saladin Salam. Peace and blessings in the out. Hopefully you had a lovely day. Like I said, get the book. Get an old... Neapolitan Mastino books, get a, a lot of old dog books, and etc. And like I said, on the aspect of the Corso history, a lot of it's starting to be manifested now. Get your hands on that stuff, people. Get your hands on that stuff. So this way you can see what breeders from the recovery stage on down were for Gazy. Who's honorable and who's like not, like on some real stuff. Because a lot of dudes put a lot of people on high pedestals and these dudes were not honorable cats you know what i'm saying it is what it is <laughs> they were not honest you know what i'm saying and if we're talking about integrity and etc and stuff like that i prefer to get my dogs from an individual that knows you know what i'm saying or oh, that's very knowledgeable and he has integrity like he takes pride in what he does 
Not that fake pride aspect that, yo, I breed a lot of champion dogs, but my bands and them are judges and stuff like that. That doesn't fly with me. That happens. <laughs> that happens. Like, people have high positions. They cool with each other. Dog handlers, etc. It's a, it, yo... It's a whole different aspect. It's a whole different. It's a whole different ball game. Just want to make you new enthusiasts aware of this, though. So, like, as you go along, you'll understand and see what I'm talking about. For real, for real, though. You know what I'm saying? But I want to be the type of individual to bring you the facts, keep it on a um a layman term, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? So that everybody can understand what I'm saying. And that, uh, yo, that's it. Like, basically, like, yo, it is what it is. And hopefully, like I said, at the end of the day, that a lot of you learn. Like, this is my goal is to teach you, is to educate you, teach you, and you take it to the next level. And if you hide beyond me and you take it to some other level, you know, past me, that's that's great. Like, I'm not hating on you. That would be a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? And if the more people, the better on well, some real stuff, the better. And that's what I basically try to promote you know what i'm saying so like it is what it is so all right tell the dean salon peace and blessings i'm out corso family y'all have a lovely day and again new videos will be brought up put up i'm gonna keep on bringing the information you know what it is one love later